guys, welcome back to another week in the life of a forensic archaeology and anthropology MSc student. I go to Cranfield University if you're new here, which is just for postgraduate students. And yeah, this is my week. I had a pretty slow start to the week. I think everything was kind of buzzing around my head to do with like the prospects of lockdown happening in a few days. So I was quite stressed internally and also stressing with assignments. Because of this, on Monday I did decide to go to the gym and like not do my lectures in the allocated times and just do them in my own pace and for me that works really well. Thankfully they were all pre-recorded so I could do this. Bloody lockdown means I haven't been uh, since that week but we move, we move. Wash your hands, you dirty pig. Get out. Get out. got offered a tour of the air crash investigation labs that day so we didn't go to our lectures and instead had a tour of this and then caught up later but it was a lot of fun we've just had a tour of the aircraft lab you can see one of the helicopters behind me and um, basically it's got all of these air crashes in it which i can't show you most of because it's sensitive but it's pretty cool well you must not know about me you you must not know about me. I'm in the ward with the baby. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Yeah, I taste like whip. That tastes like ashes. I've come back for lunch now and I'm gonna make a sausage sandwich. I bought baguette specifically for this and I'm really excited about it. And then I need to go back into uni to continue with lectures and stuff. I also accidentally like emptied half a can of dry shampoo onto my head. So I'm gonna put in a little clip of what it looked like before I rubbed it in here. Um, <laughs> Just Help. now looks like my hair's a bit lighter than it actually is. Mm -mm. Oh, two little baguettes and some Richmond meat-free sausages. Then nearly Reggie. I froze the other one so I can have it tomorrow and I've kind of eaten a lot of the middle already. Honestly, this is my dream lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back to campus and eat this on the way. So I'll see you when I get back onto campus. Oh, that is the biggest plane I've seen take off on there yet. Cool. Wow. Wow, that was a proper jumbo. Wow. No, it wasn't, that was an exaggeration. Plane of make believe. It just wasn't like a two person plane. Cool, I wonder where it's going. Stayed at uni till around 6pm and did lectures on excavation techniques and various lectures on forensic archaeology which were really interesting and then went home and it was so windy. Oh my gosh. It's freezing. I've just got back from uni and now my brain is tired and I'm just going to cook, eat and try and get through the rest of these lectures. So the stone may not have been there, well in this case it wasn't there, but that was deliberately put there, so someone walking this may go, oh, there's a rock there now, now put on the right. A bit to recording techniques in... Uh... Good morning everyone, it is 8.15am and I'd just like to reiterate the fact that I am 22 years old. This is my attire for doing my lectures in bed at 8 o'clock in the morning. This is really embarrassing. I have a Teams meeting at 9, so I need to get this video done from yesterday. Before that starts, it's only 20 minutes, so that should be fine. If I get on with it now, I've made my coffee and I'm ready to go. I have got it on the TV, connected by my HDMI, which actually makes it so much more engaging. I'm at the gym. I'm gonna do a hit, I think, because I've not got a whole lot of time before a meeting. Ooh. You're hard. Mm. 
I actually watched one of our meetings online in Yosushi and then went back to do our proper lectures. We had some on soil biology, that was great. And then soil chemistry and then more soil. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was good. I'm finally home from uni. It is, I don't know, half six, six o'clock maybe. And I'm gonna cook some curry because I've got so much curry left over that it might actually feed me for like every meal this week. I ate my tea whilst watching Queen's Gambit. Absolutely loved that show by the way, would recommend. And then just got on with some of the lectures that I hadn't done in the morning and ones that I needed to get done before my excavation the next day. I think I had a cider as well. And yes, it's a Tuesday, but I'm also a student, so don't judge me. <laughs> I had a pretty slow one this morning. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty slow most mornings, but like this was off the charts, snail pace. I needed to go back to bed. Rise and shine. Good morning. Ex excuse the hair. It it is a state, but it will be being dealt with. I have a practical today. I have an archaeology practical. It's my first archaeology practical, so I'm really excited. So this morning I have got to get through principles of survey and GIS techniques. That is from yesterday because well, I mean, as you saw, I was doing lectures until like 10.30pm last night, so there's no way I was going to get those finished. And then this morning, these ones are optional lectures. However, I don't think I'm going to have time to do them this morning, and I'm going to have to do them probably at the weekend. Anyway, let's stop procrastinating and get on with the lectures this morning. Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay, even though my scare is running down, down my face. Really, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just arriving at campus for my practical and then I'm gonna continue walking on until I get there. I've dressed for cold, it's not actually as chilly as I thought it would be, but like I've got my hat on and stuff because we're gonna be outside all afternoon and I don't wanna freeze. Thankfully, it is a gorgeous day. Scrolling through my Insta, don't wanna get into this right now. The girl who's down for anything. Go out to forget everything Cry until I can't cry no more What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay I can't, can you do that? I won't wear makeup on Thursday. Well, that is an unexpected weather type. Mm. Hey everyone, good morning. It is five past eight, and I am actually like properly up and dressed, and actually pretty much ready to go. I just need to eat my breakfast. Today is a very exciting day. I'm so excited because we're actually like doing a practical all day outside. So it's gonna be freezing, but I've tried to dress warm and I'm gonna take more warm things, I think. It doesn't give any rain. It is, however, completely foggy. It did not forecast the fog. Absolutely no visibility whatsoever. So I don't know how long that's gonna stay and whether it's gonna really hinder our exercise because basically the exercise that we're doing yesterday we had to get evidence and like try and find a scene based on evidence which we did manage to do and then today we're starting to dig these graves they're all fake just want to clarify before we start this is not a real crime scene this is not a real archaeological excavation this is all set up they're plastic skeletons so if you see any 
any bones of any sort, it is all plastic, it's not real. I would not show any real cases on here, it's totally unethical and also probably illegal. Right, I've got to get some breakfast or I'm gonna be grumpy. It is literally completely foggy. Do not have to blur the location today. <laughs> So we got to this garage thing at 9, everyone was really wrapped up because it was freezing and then we got loads of equipment out and went and walked to a field around the corner <laughs> and then basically just set up in the mud. Dirt. Soil. It's soil. One of my tutors is actually going to kill me if they hear me say mud. <laughs> to lift it over your head because I can already feel muscles in my arm here now that are not supposed to hurt when I'm doing this. So you basically just throw it up, get your second hand here, and then you let the weight of the matter do the work. And now, don't try to kind of pull it out, if that's not going to work. Just wiggle it a bit, and then you again use the weight <laughs> at this end. <laughs> Maybe not the angle then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just stole the job. No, no, it's fine. I was more inspecting how close the mattock was to Antonio's head. <laughs> That's a proper brick. Taking pictures. It's going in the fine Your stream. camera. No, it is just filming. Filming. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to attempt to prove myself. No, you can do it. It's fine. Sure, sure, hold. But don't, I would just do this. Just take this lot out. Just focus on this. Yeah? Ignore that. What I would like to do, I would like to just see a cold change. That's all. It's coming through. The light uh, so is coming through. Yeah, great. Yeah. See, it's a bit lighter now. Yeah, CBM. Yeah, CBM. Yeah, ceramic building material. The task we were given was basically to dig a hole and just show how hard it is to dig a hole, move soil, shift soil, see the colour changes in the stratigraphy, so the layers in the soil, uh, look at the roots, look at the fauna, so like the bees in the soil, yes there were bees in the soil, worms, and then to plan the hole, you know like plot it on like a proper archaeological drawing, put some bones in there, plastic bones, and like mark them on and just practice all of the skills we'd need for the next day. It's Friday and it's another really foggy day. Maybe I'm just not getting up early enough to see this fog, but I've never seen this fog like it has been today and yesterday. And this morning we're going straight into the forest <laughs> where our like mock crime scene burials are. So it's gonna be really eerie digging up skeletons. They're plastic, just reiterate that. <laughs> Literally from where we're standing right now, um, is there anything that anyone has sort of found here on the fringes of the woodland? Um, from here, where's the nearest place where anyone has found anything interesting? I can't take my mask off, so sorry if you can't hear me, but we've just located our grave and we're going to start like setting up the cordons and everything and going through all of the procedures with the risk assessments. And then once all of that is out of the way, we'll start 
looking at how we can excavate it, but that's going to mean not for a while yet. This is our grave area. It's not very obvious at all, but you can sort of tell from the loose soil. This is us setting up the cordon around our like potential grave site. It's known as a clandestine burial and clandestine basically means illegal. So it's an illegal burial is what we're suspecting. So you have to put a cordon up. There should be two cordons, an inner cordon and an outer cordon, but our kind of outer cordon was like imaginary and we were told it had already been set up. So this is just our inner cordon. We then created a forensic strategy, assessed the scene, wrote a risk assessment and started clearing the debris off the O horizon from the soil and the O horizon is basically like the top layer and the initial bit of subsoil so it was just so we could see what we were really looking at. This green string is basically just to mark out where we thought the actual grave would be in this area and then we set up a baseline which allows us to take measurements and easily like use that as zero in order to plot everything and where it is exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen a rock. How? It's fat as well. You want to shove a rock in there? I'm on note duty, by the way. I'm not slacking. Gonna do. Like, we're not allowed to dig it together, so. We're not meant to have more than two people in the cordon at once, so. <laughs> it smells like bacon. It smells like burning. It smells like burning. It's making me hungry. I'm sorry. I wouldn't wish for trouble I cannot see that feel of Let it all fall and ruin a rubble This love we hope not growing And I can see that changing All the feeling now What I told you about the feeling now Okay, so maybe back round that bit At the top Like here? Yeah Oh, but I do think that's um, that's got leaves and stuff. Yeah. So okay, so maybe maybe start doing that. Yeah. Bring it all down to the same level. That's definitely better. So what you can see here is some Asics trainers we think and a fibulae and tibia coming out of each shoe and also you can see where we've established the cup on the southern and the western side so like on the back wall and by the shoes and you can see it's a cup because it's a lot harder and the soil just would not break away there's also cut roots there as well so we could tell it had been like chopped. No, 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 no. I'm digging that beard. It's our afternoon session now, and we've uncovered the skull of our victim. <laughs> yeah. It's so creepy on camera. Really? Yeah. It looks real. I can confirm it is plastic. <laughs> Once we'd fully excavated the skeleton, we gave it a clean, and cleaning in archaeological terms just means kind of removing loose soil, so we did that with a bit of a brush and also a tiny leaf trowel to make sure we weren't damaging the actual person itself. And then we had to document the whole thing, so we had to draw a proper plan drawing, take measurements, take levels on a total station, and then start working on the recovery, and the recovery is basically taking it out, bagging up each item, each exhibit, and making sure you're always abiding by the proper ISO standards. Um, you can Google those because I am not explaining them. <laughs> a toilet break before we have to what have we got to do a section drawing yeah and contact sheet, contact sheet. oh 
I've just got home. I'm so tired, but today it was amazing. I had so much fun. I feel like I've learned loads because I'm definitely a practical learner. I always have been. I learn everything so much better on the job when you can actually, you know, work through it as a real life applied task. Hello, it's actually Saturday. I completely <laughs> forgot to pick up the camera again. I don't even know what I did last night. I literally just ate and scrolled and went to bed. I think I needed it. And I woke up this morning at like nine and have been in bed since. It's half 10 now. I haven't done anything yet. My whole body aches. My back, my shoulders, my hands. This, the grip strength aches from using like the shovel and the trowel. Oh, I'm tired. What am I gonna do today? I'm gonna edit videos. That's my main priority today. And then Sunday is always my cleaning and hoovering and taking the bins out and all of that sort of day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this has been one of my absolute favorite ones to film just purely because it really showed what I love and want to do. I enjoyed it so much. Anywho, I'll see you on my next video. Oh god, Rosie, you slept for like 10 hours. Get a grip. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.